Hi, and welcome to the Kids in the Kitchen. It's a brand new part of assembly. Each week in assembly, there will be a cooking video for you to try at home. I'll check if it's ready. You can easily follow along from the comfort of your kitchen. Make sure you take lots of videos or photos. Good luck in your cooking. Don't forget to do the dishes. Today we'll be making pancakes. Pancakes? Oh, they're my favorite food and a lot of people love them. Okay, let's get started. And make sure you wash your hands. Okay, so here I've got one and a half of a cup of milk. Tip that into a large bowl. Then I've got one egg from my shook called Ginger. And she lays one egg every day. And then we've got two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And that's it for now. You need to whisk it in a bowl and make sure it's all um, getting in together and make sure the egg isn't still yolky. So you need to break it up and whisk it gently. I have been doing lots of things in lockdown. I've been painting, going for walks, and I've even been doing some coloring and drawing, and I've been dancing a lot too. My mum and dad have been watching some concerts over the weekend, and me and my sisters do about three songs or four each weekend. Okay, that's all, it looks like it's all whisked now. So now you need to add um, one teaspoon of bicarb soda, two cups of self-raising flour. Well, that just made a big gulp. <laughs> and then you stir that as well. Make sure you don't get it on the table because once you've done all the cooking, you need to clean all your stuff you used up. That's just getting whisked. Now, um, how have your lockdown been? How's everyone's lockdown been? Everyone, I know we're all pretty annoyed that we can't see anyone at the moment, but just remember, we're all in this together and that's what matters. Okay, still stirring the um, mixture of the self-raising flour and bicarb soda. That looks ready now. Let's add the a third of a cup of caster sugar and 25 grams of a teaspoon of melted butter. And with the butter, you can use a fry pan or microwave, it doesn't really matter. Just stir that in and make sure there's little bubbles just right in the mixture once it's ready. I really loved doing cooking and English. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you at the cooking pancakes video. Bye. Hi Miss Grant, welcome to the stove of the pancakes. Now, you need to turn your pan on high with some butter in it. And then grab a ladle of pancake mixture, like that. And make sure you bring the bowl over and just put it in the middle of the pan, like that. And that will cook. And while it's cooking, I'm gonna ask you some of your favorite flavors. Do you like honey, maple syrup, lemon and sugar, berries, butter, um, jam, marmalade, jelly, <laughs> um, pickles, what do you like? My favourite is lemon and sugar, or maybe you might even like cheese as if it's your favourite food. Okay, look at the pancake now, it's starting to bubble a bit. So we'll need to nearly flip it over. So let me just see underneath. It's still a bit yellow and golden. 
Um, and you can also have some ice cream on it if your parents let you. It's for our family. We normally have them on the weekend if it's like my family's, one of my family's members' birthday or it's a special occasion like Mother's Day or Father's Day. Um, we might have them for Father's Day because it's nearly Father's Day. Okay, let's get to the bubbles. It's still not bubbled a bit, but it looks like it could be using a little bit of a flip. So just grab it under like that. And three, two, one, flip. What a great flip. I'm so happy with that. Um, I'll show you the end result later. See ya.